Hey everyone and welcome to this week's garden tour. This is going to be the last garden tour of the summer season. It is time for us to cut everything so we can use lots of these beautiful flowers on our own wedding. So I have already started actually harvesting flowers this week because we've been having really high temperatures. It's been really hot and a lot of the flowers were opening too fast. So I decided to harvest a few of them to put in a cool, dark place in my basement to see if I can slow them down and in that way use them in a couple days to make our arrangements. So I'm going to walk around now and show you guys what I still have. I did bring a bucket with me and I have my clippers in case I have to harvest some more. It is a time of the year that you come to the garden in the morning and you see things and then in the evening when you come again a lot more things just happen. You know, things are growing so fast that so they're literally opening within a day. So we're gonna start here at this side. We're gonna walk back for a minute because I have some yarrow here that's looking really good. So to me, it still already looks bigger than the last garden tour, I'm not sure. It's only been a few days, I'm filming this a little earlier because we have to go upstate a few days earlier than the wedding too. So it looks like this put a bit more growth to me. There is definitely some more open flowers, so I'll be able to harvest at least these guys, some of those. And I might wait until tomorrow to harvest these ones over here because you see how these buds are still tight not if this is open and I have to wait until they're like this to harvest so I'm not sure if it's gonna happen in a day but I'm gonna try but I'll definitely get those guys are ready so we'll be okay I'll be able to get a few cuts from here which is good and this elegant salmon clarkia completely went to seed you know that all of the seed pots are open like I showed the last garden tour they're a bit more open now and they'll probably all fall in here and reseed for next year which is a good thing too i have a little bit more fever fuel which i didn't expect that i was gonna have a second flush but look at that beautiful ready to cut open fever fuel and i have a few they're a little bit old like this one and this one but that's fine but i'll be able to cut all of this and put in a few arrangements which is going to be really great for filler there are a few of the tetra whites over there too that i will cut and these guys are budding but they're not going to be ready unfortunately for me to cut before we go. I'm also going to cut this fennel. We have some little yellow flowers here. They're very pretty, almost as high as me, as tall as me. And this is also a great filler as well. There's only one flower open, but I'm planning to harvest this whole plant and this beautiful foliage here. We also add great fillers for the bouquet. So I'm gonna harvest all the way down to the bottom and cut, divide in a few sections. So I can use that in different ways. So I have those two big plants over here. Nothing else from here really is going to be useful for me. The snapdragons, some more of them open, which is good too. I have some extra ones in here. They're looking nice. I have tons of green ones on this side here that are not gonna open, but I, I am going to still cut to use for filler. But I'm glad that I can at least have some color with these guys over here some of these guys there these ones again I'm saving for seeds so I'm not touching it they're still gonna be there I already harvested some of the straw flower doesn't even look like it actually there's still a lot left but I probably have to harvest this tonight right after this video I'm losing some sunlight so I can't do it right now but they're too open and I think if I put them in a cooler spot you give me a higher chance of having them last a little longer for them to be useful as well on this side over here, I'm gonna step behind them. I have sunflower seeds, sunflower, and some of them are looking like they're going to open. And I wanted just to show this one over here. Look how nice it looks. So if I cut like this, it will still open on the vase. This one, for instance, I do not want to slow it down. I want it to actually keep opening. So I'll have a more like a bigger, fuller flower to use it as well. Unfortunately, a lot of the other ones are not looking like they're gonna do much I might have to leave them here which is sad but actually honestly we still have two more days if I have to I'll come here the morning before we leave super early and try to grab more if I can again as I said because the days are so hot some of them are opening very fast so there is a very small chance but there's a chance so I don't want to lose all my hopes yet but at least I'm gonna have one so far I only see this one that looks like it can be cut hopefully I'll get at least two or three out of here. But if not, I'll see them when I come back. The zinnias, I already harvested some. Like, great example is this one over here. This morning, this guy was kind of like this. This one was like this. 
they're opening super fast and now this one is fully open so because it's hot it's kind of incredible how fast they are opening i harvested a bunch of them and it looks like there's a bunch more coming which is really good but i still think i'm not gonna have enough flowers so we'll talk more about that at the end of the garden tour coming more along this way the straw flowers now the white ones are looking a lot better than the last garden tour you see how much bigger they look so these are perfect for me to cut so this can wait a day or two so these are not going to be my priority i don't have a lot of space under my basement that you know, stays dark and cool so i'll probably harvest them the latest i'm planning to do another harvest video after this like fingers crossed that i can get that done i have this gorgeous dahlia here that opened under this organza bag we had a lot of rain so the mesh got a little bit stained i'm gonna open just to show you guys because it's so beautiful at this point i don't know if she's gonna last long enough dahlias have a very oh, look at this, very short vase life and this one might be a bit too far already it's still yeah, the petals in the back don't look very good but look how pretty it looks my first dark one it's very nice that one there that's on that mesh it's looking like probably by tomorrow will be open so that'll be great to harvest and probably going to last a little bit longer for me than this one i don't think those other two are going to open but it is what it is i cut some sunflowers from here already too that was were covered last time but i can see here you see how you're seeing some color on this one as well i'll probably also cut this tonight and cut this tonight these ones i don't want to open as fast as the ones from sunflower steve because these ones are singles the ones there they're mostly doubles so they're taking a longer time to open these will open super fast in like a day so these i kind of want to slow down i'll probably harvest this today i have more beans to harvest again but i don't have time to harvest right now maybe i'll take some upstage with us and the other that is here don't look like they're really gonna do anything which is unfortunate but it is what it is i have some studies in here that i could try to cut the biggest difference on this side are the rudbeckia there's no more rudbeckia in here you see i harvested most of them because they were getting way too open i might not even get a chance to use them but i thought to take them out of the hot sun and not let them get too pollinated so the bees won't get inside there and uh, tell the flower to make seed so I decided to take them out and we'll see how, what happens. I see now that I missed one. There's one that is about to open. So I could probably take that one. I read that you can open Rudbeckia. Oh, sorry. You can harvest Rudbeckia when it's halfway open, just like that one. So I might take that one too later today. And that's mostly it for the flowers at the plot here. These ones here are not much farther along. I probably am going to cut this Scaviosa here. Only one open. But even if I have to use this as buds, it would be okay as well. I'm happy with that. This one is not even doesn't look like it's gonna open. I don't know, I don't even know what color this one's going to be. These asters here look like they're opening. You see? So maybe by tomorrow I'll be able to cut them. And oh look at that, there's a bee sleeping on a dahlia. I'm gonna try not to disturb her. <laughs> That's cute. Look, this dahlia here open with only one white petal. And then there's a bee just hanging in there. She's sleeping like upside down or something. I mean, you know, it looks like defying gravity, but she's chilling. So from here for this area, the cosmos there is looking a little bit spent. I probably can't cut the like spur, even though it started going to seed, so it might not last that long. And that's basically it. I don't think I really can cut the status yet. So as you can see, there's not as many flowers as I hoped for. So we're gonna have to do a little plan B situation. I'm still going to take you guys to the backyard and show what's growing there, but the bulk of the flowers are here. So I'm a little concerned that I'm not going to be able to do everything that I had planned for. So I am actually going to the New York City Flower District, planning to maybe take the camera with me. I feel a little awkward filming in public, so I might not speak, I might just kind of film around and so you guys can see you know what's available how things work it's very packed usually i don't know how packed will be tomorrow morning but usually it's a lot of people in there and i'll see what's available and i'll see what i can buy that's the plan so far i am filming this a little bit later in the day today so i don't think i'm gonna have time to go to the backyard so i'll do that tomorrow morning we'll wrap up in here with this side of the tour
All right, everyone, it's the next day. Going to show you guys the backyard real fast. It's late in the day again, but I'm actually just gonna show you guys the raised bed. Nothing else is really looking really good. So I'm just going to show the flowers that I am going to be harvesting, hopefully, to take with us. So everything is still bagged. It's not very different from last garden tour too. I have some blooms that open, so those are all protected in here. Hopefully I can harvest all of them to take with me. All of those values look good. This orange one opened a little bit. I think it's okay to harvest. And this one hasn't really opened yet. I don't know if you can see. This one here, I think I can take both of them. And there's a beautiful white one here that's a little old, but it's still here. I'm still gonna try. So that's how the raised beds are looking before I harvest everything. Oh, the Lysianthus open. Look at this. I have one only. Lysianthus. Look how beautiful it is. So that's all right. I'm gonna harvest that one too. The sunflowers are very tall. That beautiful tall one there turned out to be yellow, which is okay. And there are some other ones here that are more on the red side. So they're definitely a mixture. It's a little bit easier to see than it was on the last garden tour. But I'm not gonna uh, cut those. I'm gonna leave them for the bees because there is like tons of bees on them in the morning already. So I'm just going to cut everything that is in here. Over here there's only a couple things. I'm gonna cut the rest of this Rebecca. I already cut the ones that were here. I'll take this eucalyptus. There's only a little bit but I can make something with it and that's it. Everything else is looking dead or not looking very great. So again we're still having past issues in here. I was a bit rushed when I was in the plot and I forgot to show you guys about the lantern flies. Danny was actually helping me to film that video so we couldn't do it fast and I mainly just really want to show the flowers but there's tons of the spotted lantern flies in there. They're all turning red, they're getting really big. It's kind of super discouraging to try to keep up with them. As you probably notice, the damage from the bugs, it looks a little better to me at least. Maybe after harvesting, it gave a little bit more space, I don't know, it just looks a little cleaner and I also took out a lot of on the disease leaves. I forgot to talk in the garden tour, just saying the garden tour last week too, that I had to take it out all of that beautiful orange calendula that I've been talking for a lot in the past garden tours too. They were right next to the Ritvecchia. They were almost all taken by pests. So in the last garden tour, they were already not there because I took them out as soon as I got there. That's basically it. That's the last garden tour of the season, at least the summer garden tour. I might do fall garden tours depending on how the garden is looking when we come back. I will still keep giving you guys updates, of course, about everything. I'll try to film things when I'm in Brazil, but I really do want to enjoy my time with my family there. It's been five years since I saw them last. I'll try to film, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to edit. Thank you so much for watching today and for watching this whole Garden Tour series and for watching the whole year if you have been watching since January. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.